Kyle. It's been quite a while since we spoke, and I am happy to say that we have finished our move. We are downtown now and closer to friends, family, and moving in new directions, which brings me to today's topic, change. Change is the only constant in this world and in this life. Just like seasons, the weather, and feelings, we too evolve and change. We often get things the way we like it, and then something beyond our authority bumps us off. We gain friends, we lose a few, we grow up, and we learn things we never thought we would know through our journey called this life. You see, you'll travel a pathway. It's full of curves and intersections, and that's where you'll meet new people. But not everything you'll meet or everything you will encounter will stay in your life on this journey. There are those who will travel with you and stay a lifetime, but there are also those people who you will only meet in the crossroads of this life. Often it seems that life is just throwing curves and that sometimes you just feel like you're about to give it all up, but that's when we have to look within. You see, it feels unfair because when you finally find someone to make you feel truly happy or something that takes it all away, life slings everything good out the door and takes the rag out from under your feet. But that's just a perception. It has been said that life is like a book. There are good chapters and bad chapters, but when you get to a bad chapter, you don't stop reading the book. If you do, you will never know what happens next. Most of us, especially the despondent, we tend to close the book when we get to the bad part of the story. And that's typical when things get worse and our present energy and hope begin to slip. But we have to remember that often this is because we think that there would not be another good chapter to our personal story, especially after so many bad ones. We simply give up too easily. We all have this attitude where we assume things, especially when things are going smoothly and life is as we desire. But that's not how life works. We cannot get something that we want all the time. We cannot have somebody that we love all the time. One of the reasons why people struggle so much in this life against change is simply because they only focus on the ugly side of their life. They keep their head down, not knowing that there is light in front of them, that there is light in this life all around them. You see, life is beautiful in its entirety, but only a few see it. Our struggles strengthen us, our efforts teach us, and our down moments put us in touch with something that can shine a light into our darkest of moments. The key in trying times is to fill yourself with courage to face the issues that life has handed you. You have to know that life is fair. Fair. Yes, I said fair because it doesn't treat everyone equal. Not everyone has good jobs. Not everyone is rich. Not everyone has a decent life. And not everyone feels attractive, loved, or in touch. But that's okay, because no one in this life is flawless. Where is perfect? What is perfect? The answers are simple. You define the concept of perfect, and maybe it needs some redefining in your life. So always look at the brighter side of life when you're at your darkest point. I know it's tough, but remember, life itself is a gift. 
It provides opportunities daily to get to see how radiant a flower is or feel how rough a stone can be or how painful it gets to get your heart broken by falling in love. That doesn't mean you quit falling in love. And it doesn't mean that every obstacle you have been through will change you in a negative way. Every person you meet can change you. Every opportunity can change you. It's your job to decide how. Live the life you want to live because you will never know when your time is up. Just remember that there are obstacles you have to face. And no matter how much you want to run from them, you shouldn't. The only thing to move forward is to embrace what is ahead of you. But you're never going to know unless you try to take those steps forward. So when you feel like you have lost, don't give up. Learn something. Embrace change. And know that just like nature, you too are growing and changing mentally and physically. The only constant in life is change, said Heraclitus in 500 BC, and his quote is still correct today. How you respond to change is up to you, and you will never know the power of your strength and the power of your changes and challenges until you overcome your own adversities. As always, peace and love, Jim.